first at 5.30 tonight, transportation officials are working on a safety plan aimed at preventing more tragedy on a Rhode Island roadway. It comes following a string of serious crashes on Route 102 in Burraville this month, including two that killed three people. Officials say their plan is similar to one put in place by another local town. From the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is in Burraville now with more on what he's learned. Police say after a few devastating weeks here, changes are coming to try to help save lives. A scene all too familiar on Route 102 in Burraville. Emergency crews rushing to a fatal accident. We've seen some devastation here in the past two weeks, three weeks, and it's just not necessary. People have to pay attention. In the last few weeks, several people have died in wrecks. That includes 19-year-old Shannon Heil and Markel Torres. Burrowville police cracked down on speed limits and driver distractions, and in just one week, issued 126 summons for drivers. Major Larry Guglietta was surprised by the number. The problem is, is we've been on the media. We've been on our Facebook page. We've gone on our website. We're putting information out that uh, this is an area that we're watching, and we're still getting people violating the law, which is unfortunate. On this road, the Department of Transportation is making changes to keep it safer, eventually adding a space between lanes and putting in a rumble strip in between. It's a way to wake up drivers crossing the center line. When you have two back-to-back -back and a third accident that could have been a fatal within two two weeks, I mean, you have to take notice. And that's what's happening. Now they're also adding more signs. The changes are similar to what was done on Route 6 in Foster. But in the end, Guglietta says the most important change is an alert driver. It comes down to being the driver that you're supposed to be. Pay attention to the laws, pay attention to the roadway. You never know what's going to go on around you within seconds. Have to be alert, have to be vigilant. Now expect to see some of those changes start to take place just within the next couple of weeks. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.